Hi friends, we are with the fifth video in our Vbots ROS2 tutorial series. So in last video, we learnt about how to make a publisher. So now, this page must be looking familiar to you. If you have not seen the video of how to make a publisher in ROS2, do view the last video of this tutorial series, that is video 4. Now, again we come on this page so a link of this page will be in the description and now we will learn about the other half part which will be making a subscriber so here subscriber is a node which takes the information from a particular topic so there can be multiple nodes taking information from a single topic that means subscribing to a single topic or there can be a case where your single node is subscribing to many topics. This is a way how you can communicate in your ROS2 infrastructure. So the things which we discussed were we can have a topic which will be subscribed by more than one nodes and we can have a node which can subscribe to many more topics. So let's see the implementation. In this section, we will learn how to subscribe a topic from a terminal. So for this section, we will use the same epoch robot which we used in our last video. So it was the same command. We will copy this. Before that, we will go to ROS2 workspace. This is where our VBOTS ROS2 package is situated. I will source it. By the way, if you don't know from where this ROS2 workspace came, you should have a look at video one of this series so that you know how to set up our workspace. So let's source this and paste so when I hit on enter the world with an epoch robot will spawn so if I open a new terminal we can source install setup dot bash and again we will look at the topics which are being published in our ROS system. So we can do ROS2 topic list and I hit on enter. It will give us full list of topics which are available. Today we are going to subscribe a TOF sensor topic which is this long range line. So for that most of you who have seen last video will know that we need to do ROS2 topic echo. So for publish it was pub, for subscription it is echo slash TOF. Oops. So when I hit on enter. I start getting values. So this is the format in which TOF sensor is publishing the data. So here is the range. So we are continuously getting a stationary range. This there is a small flickering, but the value is stationary, which makes sense because our robot is stationary and this beam is hitting the wall at a stationary point. So if you want to see where is it hitting the wall it is it is this point the value which we are seeing is the value from sensor to this point. So if you want to know the message type of this sensor this was also discussed in last video. So if I control C it will stop publishing and to know details about a topic 
you can do ROS topic info and topic name TOF. If I hit on enter, it will give us the type of message and how many publishers are publishing it and how many subscribers are subscribing to this topic. So if you want an elaborate view of what this message looks like, ROS2 interface show sensor message message m s g and range okay if i hit on enter this is the message type where there is header there are some ints for ultrasonics infrared field of view minimum range maximum range range value so this is where we were seeing 0.7 which was the range where the beam is hitting an object so this is all how to subscribe a topic from a terminal now we will learn about how to make a subscriber node so first of all let's go to where we have written the node Let's we bought epoch so inside if we bought ros2 epoch there is a folder named we bought ros2 epoch And here we have written subscribe underscore tof dot pi as the Python script of subscriber. So before that, this is a piece of documentation. Link will be given in the description where they teach you how to create a package, write a publisher, which we saw in our last video, and write a subscriber. Here. They also have stepwise explanation of the code. And at the end, we need to add our subscriber node inside entry point of setup.py, which we'll be seeing soon. So first of all, code dot is a shortcut to open your VS code. So you see. Here we have sub to f tof pi. So in this node, this is node is made similar to what we have in the example subscriber example. So here we import rcl pi, then we import the node. Then we saw in last part where our sensor type message was range. So we import sensor message dot message, we import range. And then we have a class. We will look at the class in some time. First, well, let's look at main. So it is pretty similar where we init main, we make an object of our class and we spin the object. Once spinning stops, we destroy the objects. This is similar to how we saw our publisher nothing much fancy now let's see the class we have a node subscribe underscore tof and we make a subscriber by function create subscription message type topic name and callback comma our buffer size so now we take make a variable range equal to zero and in callback so this function is called whenever we have a message on this topic so when this function is called we get the message on this topic as message so now there were different tabs inside message so if you do message dot range that is exactly the range so how far we are seeing which we save in self dot range and we don't do anything we just print 
the distance and print sensor is seeing obstacle in distance the range you can use this parameter range inside your code and do many things but for now this is very easy subscriber so we are just printing the range this is here and so if i minimize this secondly we also need to look at setup.py so in vs code if you want to look at a particular file you type code space file name dot py and if i hit on enter i see setup.py so when i open it in here in our entry point we need to initialize our node this is the node name which we want equals to this is the location so we when we came here we saw that in our package we have a folder named vbots ros to epoch and we have a python file named sub tof colon main so this is the syntax which will tell our package to look here and make a, a node named sub underscore tof so we can quickly come back here we have two options we can do call con build which will build all the packages or we can build a particular package by using command call con build package selection and package name so i will copy this this process is similar to what we did in our publisher we bought b o t s underscore ros to epoch if i hit on enter it start building the package and it has successfully built the package so now if i source install setup dot bash and let's run our node so we will see the simulation and we saw that the value from the terminal was around 0.7 so let's see if the value remains same so if i do ros to run our package name we bought ros to epoch and our node name so if we double tap uh, double tab we have s capital my bad so if we can have sub tof and if i hit on enter see it started populating our subscriber so everything is working fine and we are seeing an obstacle at 0.76 which is exactly what what we got when we saw from terminal so now to just do a sanity check if this is working fine we can give command velocity to the wheels and they will start moving forward so this is a revision from our last video where we made a publisher for command well so rather we can use the same node here we need to source it or else your packages will not be recognized ros to run we bought so if you auto complete you will see your packages seen and if i i don't remember the publisher name so if i double tap it gives me list so if i hit on enter now a robot started moving so here we are using publisher and subscriber and you see the values are changing whenever a robot is coming near some obstacle the values are decreasing you see it decreased because there is a block here this is summarization of both the videos video 3 and video 4 where we are using our publisher to move the robot and we are subscribing to the range topic where we are seeing how far there is an obstacle in front of us so this was all about implementation by a node
so in this section let's discuss differences between ROS1 subscriber and ROS2 subscribers if you have seen last video the differences which we discussed in ROS1 publishers and ROS2 publishers will also apply for subscribers and let's discuss some more differences which will also apply to publishers back so now we will discuss at about the paradigm of communication so in ROS it had inter-process communication which is also known as middleware wherein in ROS2 we use DSS which is data distribution service so this gives us great transmission performance also I would like to discuss a concept called as quality of service so in ROS1 we do not have any option of quality of service policy wherein in ROS2 we can set the policy like we can set history parameter as keep last or keep all that means we can save last n messages or we can save all our last messages because of which in ROS1 there are issues if we use wireless links because lot of our data is lost but in ROS2 because of DSS we can set the reliability of our node that means most of our data will transmit rather than getting vanished and also one more point which we discussed before is in ROS1 subscribers cannot be restart when we are on the go that is when we are online but ROS2 subscribers can be restarted and replaced whenever we want online so these were some of the differences of ROS1 subscribers and ROS2 subscribers also if we think about applications they will be same as applications of publisher because one cannot live without another we can't have a ROS system where we just have publishers and there is no one to subscribe so these both concepts always go hand in hand so this was all about subscriber video if you like the video do share and also subscribe soft illusion thank you